We all know the saying to talk out of one's butt, but is it possible to breathe through one's butt? Well, if you're an eel, sea cucumber or catfish, chances are you have evolved the ability to adapt and survive in a hypoxic or low O2 environment using your intestines. But what about mammals? Well, enter the recent study by Uckerby and colleagues. These scientists set out to see whether mammals, in this case pigs and mice, their intestines could absorb oxygen to keep them alive. To test this, in one section of the study, they used a chemical known as perfluorodecalin, or PFT, to deliver the oxygen in a fluid form. They bubbled the PFT with oxygen for 30 to 45 minutes, which gave a partial pressure of the PFT of 438 millimeters of mercury, which is about four times greater oxygen partial pressure than that found in your lungs. Then they squirted this liquid oxygen into the rectums of pigs and mice, which were then subjected to hypoxic environments, which is essentially a low oxygen environment, about 10% of the normal environment. In mice, one mil of the oxygen loaded PFT resulted in a nine times increase of the walking activity compared to the control, whilst the partial pressure of oxygen increased 13 millimeters of mercury, whilst saturations of oxygen increased 15% for 60 minutes in the hypoxic environment. Whilst pigs, they were injected 200 mils of the oxygen loaded PFT, where they were found that the partial pressure of oxygen increased 13 millimeters of mercury, whilst the saturation increased 7% for a duration of 19 minutes. The authors believe that this approach, if it's scaled up to humans, may treat patients with respiratory failure caused by conditions like asthma attacks or airway obstruction.